X8360, I think it was. I'm gonna have to pause real quick. Okay, guys, I got my charger plugged in. Thanks to Samsung and their 25 watt charger with the Note 10, so the Note 10 Plus, I should say. So here we are with the uh, VX8360. It works just fine. Here's another U430 or 410, I think it is. U430. It works and it has a battery. It's also the better conditioned one too. That's why it has a battery in it. Here's the Nokia. I forgot the number of this one. Fifty two thirty. It works just fine. Just with T Mobile. It's a resistive touchscreen. Here is one of two of the Samsung. I can't get the back off. There we go. The R430. This is the blue one. And let me look for the red one real quick, too. Let me just knock them both out together. Oh, here it is. Here's the red one. We got the blue one. And the red one. They both work. They both have batteries in them too, actually. We'll have to move all these up in a second. Here is the Samsung B311 with Verizon. It works just fine. Here is the Sanyo. I think this the 2100. Or 2300, I don't remember. 2300 maybe it looks like. Yep, 2300. If I remember right, I had the black one of these. This is the one I had the black and the pink. So I have another one like this in black. And this one works just fine. Let me see if I can find the black one. See if you can make them together. Here's the black one. Just easier to put them together, so I'll take it back off later. And then here we have the Nokia see it is gonna be is it upside down that's weird the 2660 this is with AT&T it works just fine the charging port and everything's on the top that's kind of weird on these uh, let me go and move all these up and then we'll go ahead and continue all right guys grab some more we're getting close to almost being done I would say The easiest way that I was able to get them from the desk over here was just to carry a whole bunch of them. That's a lot of moving phones out of air from all that. Alrighty. Here's another blue one. The SCP3200. There's the other one all the way up there now. Of course I moved them all and I found the other one. So there's the blue one and then the black one. I like the black one. I actually had the blue one, but I like the black one. Here is the Q9. Let's see. The Q9M as well. This one doesn't have the extended battery where the other one I did. Did. Here is the C14, the black one with eight or of a singular. Here is one of two from Samsung N3300s. This is with Metro. And here's the other one with Altel. Plus I have the one in the box that's brand new. Here is a Samsung X495. This is with T-Mobile. And it works just fine. The uh, A560 is supposed to have a little speakerphone rubber up there too, but it um, deteriorated off, so that's why it doesn't have it. Those right there. Here is the Samsung. Got deep scratch on the screen. A737. 
This with AT and T, it doesn't have a battery to swap between other Samsung phones. Um, it works just fine though, besides the battery. Here's the Samsung Memoir. The um, camera shutter thingy, the closed thing, actually quit working on it though. But I had this one as well. Let's see, we have the Samsung M330. Let me get the back on. It works just fine. The screen's a little scratched up on this one, but it does work just fine. Here is two of the Samsung U18s. I have to order two new batteries because I gave Ivan one of them when he uh, wanted to give away. So I gave him one of these and I took the battery out of mine and gave to him. So I have two of these. These are both in really good shape. The one I haven't had was also in really good shape. The other one I have that I'm going to drop test has a, uh, a cracked hinge up here. So those are. Let's see my bald head. Uh, let's see. Here is a Sanyo 7300 with Sprint. This is the older Sprint phone. It works just fine. Here is a Sprint Nokia 3588. I was about to say 3585, so I'm gonna actually take it back off. It works just fine. Here is a Kyocera a Dora, Duratech. Um, let me see, I don't know the model on it either. Yeah, Kyocera. Okay, the battery up. There we go. E4233. It works just fine. The only problem with this one is it's missing the cover on the charging port door. So it's not waterproof. But it works just fine. Here is the Nokia C. Of course it's backwards. The 750 or the 7510 with T-Mobile. It works just fine. My finger out in the way of that. I'm going to try it again. Boom. That's pretty cool. It works. Here we have the Samsung. Uh, I think it's the A. These backs and batteries are just pains to get off sometimes. The A460. It works just fine. There's a Samsung. Um... A660 It works just fine Here's the Motorola V557 I'm not going to get the back off of this one This one's a singular Here's the Samsung M320 It works just fine Here's the Sprint A... I think it's a 640. Oh, 620. I was close on that one too, but it works just fine. Good dog. Alrighty. And then we have a Motorola V265. This is the extended battery, so it's got the extended battery cover. And then this weird looking Nokia, that's really cool looking though, but it's weird. It is the, oh, it's underneath the memory card. This is going to be the 3650. This thing does somehow work just fine. Alrighty, it is with, uh, I think it's unlocked too. Couple more phones. Like I said we're finally getting pretty low on them, so 
here is another VE20. This one's got the blue accents, which the other one has the green. I like the blue a lot better. It works just fine. I think it needs a battery, actually. Yeah, see, it's off one of the 376s, and it won't even turn on because that it's the wrong battery. But if I put the other battery out of the VE20, and it works fine. Here is the Samsung. This battery doesn't fit, so I put a piece of rubber in there to make it work. So I pull that out. It is the Samsung U540. It works. Technically, it needs the right battery, but it still works with that piece in there. So it works. It works, right? Let's see. We got the uh, LG Dare. This one was my girlfriend's phone. Because it has the back on there. There's also another one that doesn't have a back. That was uh, one I bought off of eBay a lot. Here is one of my Samsung A930s. This one works. Has the back and everything. Here's another one of my Verizon. It's the Verizon Motorola E815, where the other one was the Altel. Here is the Samsung X427M with singular. It's pretty close to the A660 with a Sprint right here. We have the uh, LG CU. Uh, 400 with singular and it works just fine then we also have the LG Lotus with Sprint my screen's a little cracked and the hinge is actually cracked I noticed right there just a little bit but it does work just fine other than that I wish I get the black one I'm not digging the purple one but you know you get what you get right let me see let's grab some more Here is another Samsung M520, I think it was. I can't remember the name. I think it was M520. Yep, M520. So the other one I have is somewhere around here, but here's the uh, the second one to match it. I don't know where it went either. That's a lot to go through. Let me see. There's the Sway over there. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to find it. I think it's too far gone in that pile. Um, it might be up towards the top, actually. Let me see. I don't know. It's somewhere, but here's the other one to go with it. Um, let's see. Here is a VX 5500. I think this is the second one I have. It works just fine. Here is a LG PM225. Uh, this one works just fine. This actually had a cracked LCD at first. So I pulled the LCD off of another phone and put it on this one, off another one of these. It was just really bad shape. Here is an LG uh, CU515. This one works just fine. It's with AT&T. Let's see. I thought my phone shut off for a second. Here's a Nokia 2605. It's with Verizon. It works just fine except for it's missing this piece back here. I think it's like a cover or something. Here is a Sanyo... A little LED indicator right there. 8200R, which is red, so part showed the inside of that one. And then this one I noticed is already on. Maybe not. Oh, is that a lot of keys on her? There it is. Yeah, let's we'll see, it was already on. It is the Samsung. I had this too for a while, and I did not like it. It was terrible. Back off, and I hated the charger being on the top too. That was just weird. 
the SGH T528 with straight talk. Technically track phone, I guess, either way. Let me go ahead and pause and move these all up again because we're running out of room. Actually, let me just go and see if we can just make this work here. Just kind of keep them all this area. See if we can make this work. So I'll get up again. That's a lot of getting up. Let's slide all these over. I think we might be able to have enough room. And then um, I'm going to go ahead and just grab all my iPhones out, but I'm not going to go through them because I've already showed them in another video and they're just the same thing over and over. So just the four and four S's I have. I do have an iPhone 5 though. I'll bring it out and show. I'll start this side. Actually, I didn't show this one right here. The uh, Samsung Convoy 1. Grab some more. Like I said, we're getting really low now. So I'm not going to have to get up again. So that's cool. I'm going to start with those two because I have both of them matching here. I was going to grab them all out real quick. Alrighty, so that's all of them now. We have another one that's on. The other LG Dare. And see it's got problems. The uh, corner's missing out of it. Um, missing the back. It does work though, as you can see, but it's pretty rough. Here's the other Samsung A930. It doesn't have a battery, but it does work. Here's the Samsung A5 or a 640 it doesn't feel like it has a battery it doesn't this I actually had one of these two it worked pretty good here is the CDM a or the CDM 8910 this is the Verizon one that works just fine here are both my Samsung R500 these are the Hue ones and they both work. It's so either red and the blue. Here is the Motorola. Oh, I've got some hair on there. The Motorola Crave, the ZN4. I just did a video of this. Isn't that crazy how it's cool? I like that. You can see it's basically transparent up against my camera. It's got a little fogginess to it, but it isn't too bad. That works just fine. Here is the other LG, or the uh, other LG, the other Motorola, uh, what is it? Uh, v, let me see, I just have to look because I can't remember. Let's see, the V325i, this is the grayish color one, and then I showed the uh, black one some time ago, I think it was. I'm not going to be able to find you there because it's been a while. The black V325. Let me see. Oh, there it is. All the way up there. Right there. There's a the black one. And then when I go to show you all of them, I'm just going to put my phone in wide angle mode and then we'll go through them. Here's the other A640. This one does have a battery. I got two of those. I didn't realize I had two of those. I know I had another one that's got a broken screen, but it's in the parts bin. Here's the LG NV Touch. It works. There is some uh, dead pixels on the internal screen, but it works just fine. It's got a resistive touch screen. Here is the Samsung Juke. It works just fine. Here's the LG VX8370. So this is a step newer than the 8360 I showed a while ago. It works just fine. Here's the uh, US Cellular Samsung. Uh, let's see if I can show you the model on it. 
This one I actually had a problem because every time I put a Samsung battery in it, it would never take it. It would always turn off the R270. And finally, that battery I put in there uh, seemed to work on it, so that's the one I just kept it with. It works just fine. Here is the Samsung U380. It is with Verizon. I still got the protective film on the screen. Or at least someone put one on there. Here is the, uh, this is one of my favorite ones too. I never had this, but it looks cool. It's the LG LX uh, something. 350. It works just fine. It's with Sprint. But I just like the keypad on it. And it lights up in blue, so it makes it look really cool. Uh, here is a Samsung on Cricut. Oops. It is going to be the R261. And I said it works just fine as well. Here's a stupid track phone. LG. I hate track phone technically, but it's the LG 290C. Um, the C and the G on the end of the track phone models is going to be if it's a CDMA carrier or a GSM carrier. Um, there's that one. Here's another Samsung Convoy 1. It's got the extended battery on it and it works just fine. Here is a Samsung let's see, T249. It works just fine. It's with T-Mobile. Here is a LG VX8300 with Verizon. It works just fine. And then we have the Samsung T329 on T-Mobile. I'm going to buy another one of these that doesn't have all the glue and stuff on the front. So there's that one. Let me go ahead and grab all the razors out and put them in line and then grab all the iPhones. And then I will do the wide angle go through like all of them that are laying out. Look, I actually found a couple I haven't gone over just yet. Here is an iPhone 3G. I think it needs reset. I think it's uh, got a passcode on it, but I, they didn't have iCloud, so it just needs reset. There's another iPhone 3G. It needs reset as well. One of these has dead pixels on the screen. Here's a BlackBerry. Let me see where the model number is on these things. Oh, there it is, 95. Um, 95.50, I think is what it says. I can't read it very good. Um, it doesn't have a back, a battery, and it's got a cracked screen on it. And then we also have an iPhone 5 that needs a battery and a home button. And then we have the V20 that I have. I do videos with this once in a while. It's got pretty decent cameras on it for being an older phone. So, there's that one. And also, I have me my iPhone 10 and white um, it's dead I need to charge it but there's that one so let me go in and stand up uh, plug my charger I guess let me see what percent I'm at All right, we're good. so there is going to be my entire phone collection if you all were keeping along you know maybe you could keep track of them of all of them let me go on my wide angle oh, there we go it works a lot better so there's all of them. This only takes up basically almost my whole living room. So yeah, there they all are. If you all keep it along, you can count them. Count how many I have. Also, let's go over to my desk. Step on any of these. On my desk, this is the case I'm using on my note. It's the uh, subcase, the Unicorn Beetle. Works pretty good. We have a LG. AX155 almost forgot the model these are all going to get drop tested this is the blackberry curveballs talking about that's going to get drop tested it's locked 
and uh, the trackball doesn't work very good and I already have three or four of them so it doesn't matter this one turns on everything but it's passcode locked this one is water damage and a bad charging port this one has a bad charging port a missing cover and the top right there is cracked here's the other Samsung U810 it's got a cracked hinge right there uh, other than that it works and it's missing the back cover here is the other Motorola I don't remember the number the V325 actually I think is what it was this one's got a broken um, I think this LCD is broken if I remember right off to check it out but it's really bad shape so we're gonna drop test it I'm gonna drop test this one this is a Samsung U430 I'm gonna drop test this one as well it's the uh, LG VX5500 passcode lock this one it's missing the antenna um, it's really rough inside so we're gonna draw test it it's the 3100 this is the Samsung U550 we're gonna draw test it. it's missing a battery uh, some of the keys on the keypad don't work and I think it's locked as well and this one uh, ZTE we're gonna draw test it. it's not cracked but trying to turn it on, all it does flash red light and vibrate. I've tried charging it over and over and over, and it does absolutely nothing. So we're gonna drop test it. And then this one's already basically cracked, so I don't know what we're gonna do with it. And then moving over, we have a iPhone 3GS that I've been trying to charge, and all it does is go into boot loop. So it might have a dead battery. Oh nope. Yeah, it might have a dead battery. But I did order another one, it only cost me like 16 bucks, and it's really clean compared to this one. So I think we're just gonna drop test this one possibly. I'll see what I can do with it. And I think that's, uh, I guess, besides all the, the box phones that are in the box, um, this is gonna be all of them. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It took a long time to make. Unbelievable time to make these videos there are so many phones to go through that it took so long to get them all gathered up moved from the desk to the floor and gone through each one of them um, I got a phone call so it interrupted the video so they're gonna have to be two parts sadly so now it's gonna take even longer to uh, up 